So you want to know how to make sunglasses like these? Well, it's actually quite simple. So today we're going to drag sunglasses to a face. So without further ado, let's get started straight away. I'm first going to click right here on VFX and go to motion tracking. Then I will go into a folder and I will drag in my footage. Now the first thing I will do is set the scene frames. This will make sure that the clip is the exact same time as our footage is. So it is somewhere around 160 frames. I'm also going to prefetch. This will load in the footage so it plays smoothly all the time. And then I will go and press on N to open the side panel. Go to track, go to objects, and we only have a camera. You can use the camera by the way, but I'm simply going to click on plus, face. And now I will select some features and preferably features that don't move a lot. So one of these is the eye, for example. I'm going to hold control and click. Alt and S in order to get our tracking box surrounding this. And I will do the same for the other eye. And you basically want to select points that are not prone to movement. So one of the things that's moving a lot is my mouth. So if I were to place a tracking marker right here, you will probably not get an accurate track. So I'm simply going to try and track things that don't move. And then I will click on A. And if we press Ctrl T, it will track forward. If we press Ctrl Shift T, it will track backward. We have to do both. So I'm first going to track forward, Ctrl T. And it has already done so. Then go right over here, Control Shift T, and now it is done. The rest. So we have a track right here, and I can already see that there's some weird stuff going on here with the nose on this side. We might not get an accurate track for that. Uh, before we actually do this, we want to go over here, click on Normalize. We're going to set the match to previous frame, and this will improve the overall object track by a little. Control T once again. Control Shift D, and now we should have our track. Then I'm going into the solve. I will go to keyframe and select it. And I will also open up the side panel, scroll down to camera, because I know exactly which camera I used. Uh, it is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. This will automatically change the sensor width. I think I used a focal length of around 34. So I'm going to use that focal length as well, and this will help create a better solve. So solve object motion. And then right over here, we will get a solve error. 0.57, definitely not bad, especially for an object track, this is fine. So I'm going down here and set up tracking scene. And what this does, this will create a scene right here, which will allow us to place this object onto my face. So if I go into the camera, we can already see the footage. I will select the empty that has the entire Ray-Ban connected to it. And then I will go into the constraints, add an object constraint and object solver. Now for the object, I'm going to select face. And for the camera, we're going to select the only camera in the scene and set inverse. And now all we need to do is go into the scene and find where our tracking markers are. And they are right over here. So I'm going to select one of those, preferably the one of the eye, shift S, cursor to select it, then select this empty, shift S, selection to cursor, and now it should be on the correct location. If I click on zero, now all we need to do is position this in such a way so that it's on the face. We can also scale it, do some stuff with it like that. And now if I play this, what's supposed to happen is that it's sticking to my face. And that's the case. Pretty simple stuff, worked out immediately, but that's great. Now, you might have something where you are moving your face like this, and this will cost you a bit more trouble if you want to get it done, but it's, uh, it's still possible. So this is the way to track objects to your face, and this is the way that I did it. Now, in order to make it even better, what you can do is make a 360 degree shot of your room where you were filming in, which is what I did. And if I go to layout, zero, set this to cycles, CPU, I actually use this as an HDRI in the shader editor, world, control T, and I used a 360 degree image right here of my room, or at uh, Y, I think it's uh, something like this. And then we will get some accurate reflections on this Ray-Ban as well. So increase the strength just a little bit. And then if we set this to transparent under film, then we will have some pretty cool looking reflections on this as well that are supposed to make sense. Now, if you really want to take this to a next level, uh, it requires some compositing work. 
So that's the way you do it. And that's the way you drag sunglasses to a face. So I hope this tutorial was useful for you. If it was, click on subscribe and also watch the next video.